Okay, so for the second part of this video, I can see some Iraqi coins. My name is Glenn, and welcome to Coin Collecting 101. So these are, although I'm an Australian, most of my channels back world coins uh, because that's all I like to collect. Australian coins are okay, but you can only do so much on them. With world coins, you have unlimited resources. So, it's the second part of the coins that I got from Tasmanian Numismatics. Got this bulk lot of, it looks like mainly Iraqi. See, I've got some Jordanian. So, let's just separate them and see what I have. So, we've got you know, Ottoman Empire, we've got Iraq, Jordan. Area. So when you learn about coins, you can just pick them out. Saudi Arabia, more Jordan. Okay, we've got Iraq. Saudi Arabia. No, not Saudi Arabia. Syria. More Jordan. So it looks like yeah, it looks like this is pretty good bundle that I've got here. Uh, Lebanon. Oh, look at this one. So we have a four fields from Iraq. And I think its name is Faisal. So it's 1931, 1349. And that one in itself is probably about 10 to 20 dollars. Okay, we have a silver coin of Iran. I need to look that up. It's two reels. Uh, but I don't have that. And that's also an interesting pickup. Okay, more rock, 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 Bahrain, Egypt, um, another Syria, rock, Jordan, rock, a lot of rocks, another Syrian, another Jordanian, United Arab Emirates, so that one's still used. Another Syrian coin. Syrian currency is actually quite worthless. Uh, Jordan, Iraq. Jordan, Iraq. Jordan. Jordan, Libya. So North Africa. Iraq, Syria. Another Bahrain. Another Jordan. Egypt. Jordan. Okay, so another current coin of United Arab Emirates. Okay, these three. Oh no, Egypt, Syria. Okay, another coin. Oh, look, nearly got a set of the United Arab Emirates. Okay, Bahrain, another 50 dirhams. And another Iranian coin, five reels. Iraq. Syria, United Arab Emirates, the previous 50 dirhams, is that Egypt, okay, so we'll start off with the most common ones, so we have a 25 and 50 halala from Saudi Arabia, now this, these don't have western dates, and I, off the top of my head I can't convert them, it's all in Arabic, it has a monarch, and the cut of arms. So these ones are probably only a dollar or two each. So nothing really interesting there. Then we have the coins of Bahrain. So 25, 50 fills. And so these are, they don't use these coins anymore. Uh, I've dropped it. Oh, another Jordanian coin. Okay, so these ones have the Islamic and the Christian dates in 1975, no, 1965, should I say? And yeah, they're all 1965. So these are probably still legal tender. And then, you know, only worth a few dollars. Then we have current coins in nine Arab Emirates, 25 fields. One dirham equals a hundred fields. So it's not my thousand. Here we have an antelope. Here we have the current 50. Fields, I think it's fields. 
Oh no, it's one Durham with 100 kills anyway. We have an old Derek, new of your current one Durham. So this is the most common coin. This is nickel plated steel. I think before 2002 they were copper and nickel. This one's 2012. So these are not really worth that much. Got quite a few of these. And here's the older, larger copper and nickel 50 fills. Um, the same. So that is uh, quite underwhelming for those coins. Then we have Egypt. So we have the current 50 piastres. Although this is only worth about two and a half cents if you're lucky. But it has Cleopatra. Or is that Nefertiti? No, I think it's, no, it's one of those two anyway. Uh, Cleopatra and Nefertiti. So this is 2007. And they do issue commemorative coins of this. So if you go to Egypt, look out for the commemorative coins in your change. And then we have the previous coins, so 5 and 10 piastres, or one, 5 and 10 kirsch, if you read our rig. So this is 1967, this is 1972, and there's our Republic of Egypt. And as you can see, they changed the coat of arms. So these ones are probably the two more common coins you're going to get. And those ones I'd say probably $5 a lot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> worthless currency 11 on. So this used to be equivalent to 50 cents back in the 2000s. But now, it's about 100,000 equals $1. So this is worth about 5 cents. Actually, probably not even that. Okay. But it's a nice coin to get, and the highest value coin you're going to actually get in Lebanon. Okay, next one we have is a Turkish Bordi Para. So this is probably 1910s. So we have a frozen date, 1327 down below, down the bottom. Then we have writing up the top, which I can't read because I don't read Arabic. This is 40 Para. So this is equivalent to one kudus, and a hundred kudus equals one lira. And on the back, we have regal year four. So I need to look up the date, but I actually quite like this design. It's not too busy, and it's not too sparing. And also the border actually is nice. It's just plain, and it's a nickel coin. So that one's probably about five dollars there. Okay, another coin. So this is also about five dollars, five millimeters, nineteen fifty-two from Libya. Uh, so I think this is King Indus. Indus, and in the next series that he issued, uh, he didn't want his portrait on him. And also the five millimeters was actually smaller. And this was taken out in the seventies when Muhammad Gaddafi took over the country. Change the currency to uh, one dinar equals 100 dirhams. So it got rid of the millimeters. And, okay, so then we got two uh, coins of, it looks silver, it might be just copper and nickel. Uh, so these are Iranian coins of the kingdom before the Iranian revolution. So this is 1323, 1352. This one looks like it's an error. Has is that? Yeah, it's probably ghosting of the actual coin, but it's well circulated. And we have the actual lion of Iran, which symbolise. So this is the emblem or coat of arms, as you would say. And it's quite nice. So these ones you won't be able to get on eBay because you're not allowed to sell Iranian coins on eBay. But look up reels or something like that. And another currency you can't sell on eBay is Syrian coins uh, since the Civil War started. So we have another 50 piastres. So we've got 25 piastres. This has the denomination. Country name. And the coat of arms, this is 1974, 1979. As you can see, Syria also changed the coat of arms. 
So this is the current one with the three stars. And here's another one. What date's that? That is 1968. So here we have the three different coat of arms. Hopefully they went back to the normal one after they had a failed United Arab Emirates or something like that. A United Arab Republic or something with Egypt. Okay, so here's 979 different yeah this is more basic looks horrible actually and then we have the 50 dirhams uh 50 piastres should i say but as you can see it's got a gap there so this one's missing something copper nickel this is probably nickel and 1974 1979 as you can see the coat of arms is a bit different what are the other ones? Okay, orientated. Yeah, 1974. Now this one's a bit better. 1967, 1968. Yeah, these are all coin rotated. Okay, so I have to try and get rid of those somehow. Because I think I've got them all. Okay, and we got two one pound coins so 1968 and obviously the dates missing down below they should have just put some patterns on it make it look field so this looks a bit empty this one looks quite nice and there we go 1979 so they changed it from so this is a metal rotated and this one is coin rotated so those ones, I would say, all that, probably about $20 for all those coins. Okay, the older coins of Jordan. So we've got five fields. And then we've got some ten fields. Let's have the old monarch, King Hussein. So we've got 25, 50 fields, and 100. It's a bit odd that you get 100 fields in these actual coin lots. Okay, so these are all pretty simple. So this is the second coin series. Uh, currently they use the third coin series. So we've got Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Also the name of the country in the center. Denomination, five fields. This is 1978. 1978 for the 10 fields. And the back of the, or the front of this coin has uh, King Hussein. He passed away in 1988. So, yeah, these are all the same date. It's a quite nice bronze coins. Then we have the 25, which is the same. And so we have a 1981, 1970. And King Hussein. Obviously, they updated the profile. This is when he was younger. This is when he's older. And here we have... Uh, 50 fields of the first coin series, so we've got 1965, I think the first coins are 1948, 1964, 50 fields, obviously these saw a lot of circulation, they had a high value, and in the 1950s and 60s, Jordan was still a poor country, so a lot of people were just pretty much just trying to survive, the curious thing is that the Arabic side seems to be weird, weathered, a lot more than the English side. Hmm. So that's three of those. And they're probably worth just a few dollars each. Then we have 50 fields. So we have here yeah, 1977, 1978, and 1977 again. Once again, just have the effigy of the monarch. Okay. And. Then we have 100 fields, so these are probably worth about 5 bucks each. So, 1978. Monarch, is that rotated? No. So, how you know if it's rotated, you get one of these. You put it in, but you have to, you put two lines there. You put it like that. 
and oh, you don't have to put the two lines and you turn it around so that looks a bit rotated obviously not really that much to make it really worth anything extra okay so 1978 1978 again. Then we have 1977 and 1975. Obviously a bit damaged. Yeah, so they're actually quite nice. Okay, the last ones we got are coins of Iraq. And we've got these are also infills. So we've got 2550. Uh, these were first issued after the bath party, no, not, not a bathing party, the bath party of Iraq took over. Okay, so the lowest denomination I have, as I said before, is these four fuels from 1931. I can't remember the monarch's name. Anyway, yeah, it's worth probably about, what is it, 10 $20, something like that. Then we have two 10 fills. So we have 1959, which is a nickel coin. And here, this coin is dated 1975, but it's steel. You can see the coat of arms. This is the first Iraqi Republic coat of arms. And this is a, they put dates on them after the Bath Party took over. Then we have 25. Pretty much the same. One is sixty-nine, one is seventy, and nineteen eighty-one. So these are all pretty normal. The high denominations are harder to get. Obviously, inflation took these out of circulation. So we've got nineteen sixty-nine and nineteen eighty. This one's steel. This one's uh, copper and nickel. So you can pretty much tell the difference. Copper nickel, because it's made out of copper, the tone's a lot better. A lot more. So a whole bunch of 50 fills. Then we have 100 fills. Yeah, these are probably worth about 5 bucks each in this condition. And we've got 1973, 1975. And the last coin high denomination is 250 fills. So this one's dated... 1980 but they also issued a quarter dinar banknote so this would have circulated alongside it and they also the other denominations they issued with 500 and one dinar so you can see instead of making the coin bigger or a different metal they just changed the actual shape of it so and you can see the designs all the same just the denomination is different this one's probably worth about five or ten bucks each. Anyway, overall, pretty good haul. I don't mind. Bit of a long video just going through all of these. But I hope you appreciate uh, some information that come out of it. And I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. Thank you and goodbye.